Hey everybody, Tim Cast here, and I've got a question for you. Have you ever gone to a website or searched for something online, and then all of a sudden you're seeing this thing appear everywhere? You may be shopping for shower curtains, and then when you're on Facebook, sure enough, those same shower curtains have appeared in your feed. Well, it's no surprise to many of you, you're being tracked online. So a lot of these services track you when you search for things, when you say things, when you share things. Typically it's about marketing something to you or collecting your data to be sold to someone else. Some of them are kind of benign like Chartbeat which just tracks your analytics and shares that with the website so they know who's visiting them and how long they're visiting for. But I want to give you a few tips on what you can do to prevent tracking. The first thing you can do is download a browser extension called Ghostery. When you load a website, it will show you all of the various trackers that are taking your private data. Then you can go up top and click the little ghost icon and it'll give you a drop down menu and you can actually toggle these trackers on or off. It's very straightforward, very simple to use. Check it out, ghostery.com. I think it's fantastic. Now this next tip is just for you iPhone users. In your iPhone, go to your settings, then Click Privacy, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see Advertising, and then there'll be a toggle that says Limit Ad Tracking. Make sure that's turned on, it should look green. You can also tap the Reset Advertising Identifier, and what that does is there is a unique number associated with your device and you, and by resetting that, it changes, and so all of your past actions will no longer be associated with your future actions, and that's kind of cool. Now by turning on Limit Ad Tracking, Apple says that apps won't be able to serve you targeted ads. However, it's limit ad tracking, not stop ad tracking, so it's hard to know where they go from there, but the assumption is that your data is still being sold to some other private company for some reason. And these companies probably don't know your name through any of these individual trackers, but with all of these trackers combined, they can see the things you're sharing, the things you're shopping for, it makes it really, really easy to eventually figure out who exactly you are, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. Privacy is any concern to you. Using an app like Ghostery is pretty fantastic because at least you'll be able to see how and when you're being tracked. Like, it's like all the time anyway, but at least you'll know. So that's all for today, but stay tuned to my channel because I've got more fun adventures and breaking news coming up for you. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at TimCast. Like, share, and subscribe if you really like my videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned. I will see you all next time.